Hello, and welcome to the fourth game of this limited Sabbat Chronicle, A Bit of Ultraviolence. As a warning, this is an adult game dealing with dark and potentially triggering subject matter. If something feels like it's too much for you, feel free to take a break, skip a scene, come back later, or whatever's best for you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and meet our cast again. And we're going to start off with Ellie. Hi, everybody. I am Ellie, and I am playing Christina, the La Sombra. And Zach? Hi, I'm Zachary Vado, playing Dante Edmonds, the Zemissi. And Andrew? Hello, I am Andrew, playing Ezra the Ventru. And Sam? Hi, everyone. I'm Samantha McLarty, and I am playing Wright, the Malkavian. And our special guest for tonight, we have Prince. Hey, everybody. I'm Amir Prince Hamza, uh, also known as Dimples of Dice around the internet, and I am playing Muzi Tao. And I am your storyteller for this evening once again. I am Lex. So with that, let's get started. Last week, we saw the pack embrace the ultra half of our ultra violence title, and the violence half. They tore through Il Dolore and Evangeline, the La Sombra primogen who ran the place, leaving in a blood-soaked mess that had certainly shattered the city's already fragile masquerade. This time, though, the pack didn't escape unscathed. While Ezra had his fill of the shadow-rich blood, it was Dante who suffered for it, as Evangeline lashed out in her dying moment with touch of oblivion. Now, the pack has fled to the safety of Dante's secret haven within the city, a small, derelict hospital conveniently nearby, but outside the downtown core. As they pull up, the chain-link fence around the outside is only half standing, and most of the windows have been boarded up. So, let's join our pack and see where we go from here. Are we already inside, or are we just getting there? Um, I figure you guys are there, the car's pulled up, everyone gets out of the car, but Dante, you're the only one who knows how to, like, get in that doesn't in just involve... That's true, so, yeah, door. so, like, com like keeping my face covered, I'm just... It's, uh, not just really out of the car and just walking, but, like, does not go towards the front door, is, like, doing a wide arc around the side to get to uh, the postern of, of this building, just one of the back entrances that is unlocked. The rest of it is, like, bike chained shut. Uh, once you get there, he actually, like, forces the sliding door open. And he's just going to continue to walk, like, assuming everybody's following at this point, because he is just still recovering through the, like, sort of rotten hallways, uh, whole, like, you know, missing ceiling tiles and whatnot, until he pushes open double doors into a pretty pristine surgical room, like a, a surgical auditorium. So there's all, like, the big seats. There's several operating tables there's trays it's they're full of tools it's actually stocked there's some like like battery powered lights that he'll flip on and I'll just do all that before <clears throat> veering off into a side room and just closing the door to leave the rest of them in there the three of you are left in this room well, this is sufficiently creepy. Ezra's it's... been kind of like vacant as we've been walking in. Like, I don't know. I don't remember how much we all knew about each other before this, but you might have picked up at this point that Ezra is still a fairly young generation vampire. Um, you would get the sense it's a first diablery for him. Uh, not that Aww. a lot happens, but definitely his first. Um, and he's kind of riding that high. And as like, as like, we've been walking through these hallways, as like we pass out of the light, his hands kind of been tracing along a wall and shadows have been kind of been clinging to his fingers and like drifting out past his hand as he kind of moves along. And he's in a bit of a, a spaced out. He's normally very like agitated, right? Like very like, like what the fuck are we doing? Let's get going. Um, very much subdued. Um, so he's kind of like standing almost in the background, kind of like, just observing his hands are kind of like unconsciously moving next to him, barely tracing that almost shadow uh, residue as they move. Christina's into it. <laughs> Shock. 
Wright's just kind of staring at the 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 door, I guess, that uh, Dante went into, and she's just like, so, uh, how long do you think we gotta wait until we can knock? Um, I would say let's probably give him a little bit, because that was kind of gnarly. Yeah, that's fair. Can you, That'd like, so bad. check on him in your own little way? I mean, like, not really. Like, I don't have, no. like, a little way to check on him, except for, you know... I don't know how you do what you do. Uh, I mean, like... I can pretend like I can check on him like I did to Ezra. Oh shit, sorry Ezra. Uh, if you didn't know by now, you know now. I don't think sorry, Ezra knows much now. of anything right now. Oh, well then we're just gonna keep this between us. Yeah. Girl talk. Yeah. Girl talk. Hi Ezra. Feeling good there, buddy? Uh, I just want you to know that I... Um, I think that you're the best. Like fucking nobody. Like oh, you. somebody can't handle the sauce. <laughs> oh my god, Ezra! Totally, Ezra. Black, Ezra. That, was that you your first explain, one? You don't have to say it. You Ezra, to... was that your first one? I, the, the, but, I mean, no. I've, I like the, we've all. You saw me earlier with the drummer, the guy. Like we've we've I've done the the blood thing. What are you even talking about? Get out of here! Oh like, you my god! You've oh, never eaten on. oh, one before. So How of you? Oh my god! We have to <gasps> celebrate after this. We have to celebrate. Like we were there for his first. I know. It's like it's my fucking so skin cute. is vibrating. I yeah. Yeah. It's the fucking best. Can you do oh, also, like, like Trixie? Now? Like, don't go around any Camarilla people for a while after this, yeah. though, because they can absolutely see that shit. They can see that you did that. I mean, why would you even... They're so fucking repressed. It's it's like a weird, like... They all have, like, weird mommy-daddy issues. Oh, like, I you like, know, like... I like Blood Drunk Ezra. Oh, this is nice. It's adorable. Wait, where, where'd, uh, where'd creepy face go? Was he like his? He got all you know, fucked. Like where is he? Where, where I think that it, it might have been wrong enough. Honestly, I'm really kind of worried about him. He kind of went all like, uh, you know, back there, and I don't know. Uh, so I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm. I'm gonna you wanna go check, check on him? Yeah, no, no, I'm no, gonna, no, I'm go find him. Like no, no, his, no, his fine, floor mats are weird, but like. Yeah, he's a good dude. You know what? He's a good I'm, dude. I'm gonna he's go good check people. on him. See if he. Oh, you're a love everyone drunk. You're all I good like people. it. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you two. Um, see if he's got any new little tricky thingies from. Oh you yeah. Know, you want? Do you want to learn some shadow game? Yeah. Here you go. And I'm gonna head. To, uh, I'm gonna try to open the door. Uh, the door is unlocked. So, yeah, you're able it. to just head on through. Kind of like. Dante. So where you are is now like one of the like one of the prep rooms where surgeons would wash up uh, before operating. And Dante's lost the sweater and is he's putting he's like tightening a tie with like a suit and a suit jacket he's put on. Uh, the visage is entirely gone. So what you're seeing is a chalk white skin. There's still no eyebrows because there's like there's no hair at all. The eyes are just like sunk in, and the mouth is not like the the wide grin. It's not so much a wide grin as the mouth is just cut sort of all the way back to the ears, and just full jaw as he's tightening up the tie. Uh, hey buddy, how you holding up? Poor choice words. Um, how uh, you doing all right? I'll be fine. I Can just you have anything? to uh, like help or something minus the body parts I kind of want to keep mine. I I don't need anything from anybody. I can I can rebuild it. 
weren't really supposed to see this part. I apologize for that. Eh, didn't really bother me so much, honestly. This is, uh, my sire's doing. Mm. Before I was embraced. He well, fancied kind of himself rude. an artist, too. Well, it's, it's rude unless you liked it. If you liked it, then totally do it. Do it. No, I hated it. Like, then totally rude. Shame on him. Did you kill him for it? You should have killed him for it. You didn't. He died of his own accord. Oh. No matter, though, I've, I've taken my time shaping my face the way I want it to be. And it's beautiful, n- normally. Normally. So we'll, we'll get back to that. And fingers just sort of go into the face as I, hmm. as I do vicissitude. And just, I, got a, I get hungrier, so I'm at one again, but I got six successes so just like the skin just starts warping back to like the same color the like heals over and hair starts sprouting up i'm just the bride's just gonna get closer because she's like super intrigued like huh that's how you do that that's neat like sticking your fingers into water and shaking them the little ripples just Keep moving out. Can I learn how to do that? I could Probably teach not. you. I could teach oh, you. I kind of want to. That'd be neat. Neat trick. We could learn from each other. I don't huh. see any problem there. That would be awesome. I, I, yeah, you teach me how to do little thingy things, and uh, I could teach you, I don't know, like, uh, how to make people, you know, not exist anymore. That trip that you were did at the at the nightclub, that seems fascinating. That uh, which one? The one where everybody lost sense of themselves. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's always a good party trick. Loves by everybody. I think more we or less. Can, I think we can help each other if you'd like. Huh. Yeah, totally. I can totally show you how to do it. It's not hard at all. Lovely. And just unbuttoning his like his shirt his shirt sleeve. Oh, it doesn't bother you that I'm watching, does it? Like that it's okay, right? That oh, I'm just, no, like, no, just no. kind of I don't know, it might be a little creepy, but I think it's really cool. You've already seen the worst of it. Ah, <sighs> cool. And I'm just gonna continue just like watching, just like <laughs> and then that, that that goes right there, and then that goes Oh, that's so cool. And finally I yeah, just finishes up and it's just <laughs> back into like the Wide smile, still no eyebrows, keeping the hair from the ventru face. It's just a sleeve unbuttoned and go, Would you like to learn at the end of the night or sooner? It'll probably take you some time to pick up on it. Uh, we can do it at the end of the night. I think we got a bit of a schedule to keep. But Very hey, did well. we survive it all? Totally. Very well. Yeah. Uh, I'd appreciate if we uh, keep this to ourselves. I, I tried to keep it to myself, but now we'll keep it to ourselves. Oh, of course. My lips are sealed. Uh, um, just to so you know, I think uh, we, we, we actually saw Ezra. That was his first. Was it now? Oh, it was. So he's a little, you know, blood high, but still. Well, he did so well for his first time. You'd think I he'd know, have all the experience right? in the world. He did. He did. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, just, you know, when we go out there, maybe, you know, give him a, a nice congratulatory, you know, hug. Because he's really feeling the feels right now. Hmm. I, I, but, I think but I've done it. But not the hug you gave Pear. Just oh, a, no. a regular hug. No, no, no. None of that. You know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm about done. I'll just pick right back up to where I was before the club night. We'll, we'll just pretend that bit never happened. Sure. Uh, and yeah, he'll just button his sleeve back up and walk with right back out of the prep yep. room into the main wing. And so now just suited up instead of sweatered up, Dante returns. Uh, uh, so while that conversation was going on, the two of you were trying out some uh, shadow play? That's certainly a word for it. But no, uh... <laughs> Christina is taking it very seriously. She likes that um, Ezra's kind of uh, interested 
in the shadows, she is actually enjoying sharing that um, in a rare moment of uh, of her being nice. <laughs> and and like Ezra's just like being very like again odd, but like very attentive, very like like w- whatever you're doing, he's very attentive to, and, and like I mean. You ever been around somebody who's done Molly for the first time? Like, <laughs> you know? Like, yes. Like, get that vibe, like, going in your system. Like, <laughs> it's that kind of thing, right? He's sweating a little, like. <laughs> yeah, and she's just, like, she's just showing him, like, and, and here's how you move the shadow. Here's how you pull it back. Here's how you can, like, feather it around you to look more intimidating like a peacock. Uh so she's just been taking the time to actually like turn her focus slightly to like he's too drunk to really hit on right now that'd be gross so i'm just gonna actually teach him how to do this i'm just following along like again like i'm tracing like like these kind of shadows in the air like the the shadows from the corner seem to kind of like pulse in slightly uh, like around everything we're doing um and there's just like whatever you walked into it, it is a very weirdly intimate yet also like intellectual vibe like it's it's like we're, we're working on a thing it's like it's, it's like the very, scene from ghost <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm doing pottery it's the like, pottery totally scene a, from yeah, ghost yeah, exactly. but with shadows that, yeah but with shadows but that's what i was picturing 100 <laughs> percent um so this is what the two of you walk back into Hey, Zante, how are you feeling? I'm feeling splendid, thank you. Good. Uh, everything's all back where it belongs. Okay. Okay. You look, I mean, you look, you look fucking great. I mean, like, you were, you were fucked. Let's be real, but you're not anymore. Ezra, you're not you're anymore. being rude. Ezra. Oh, you no, are no, high. No, no, he was. No, no, he was. <laughs> yeah. he's not anymore. And, like, this is you... And I love what you are right now and who you are all the time. You know? Oh, right, I like this. Can we get judge. Can we get judge judge more people? <laughs> right yeah, now, judge Dante, and she's just going to be like, hug. I hug. think Diablerie agrees with him. I like, think really so, too. Well. Yeah. How are you feeling, Ezra? I mean, we got, and I hold up, like, the literal physical list. I'm like, look at this shit. We got a fucking banquet. <laughs> Yeah, is next is that Bruja guy. Yeah, anybody hungry for dog? Like, is that your thing? No, no offense if you are, but like... That's the gangrel. Gangrel or dog? I'll take clan leather Bruja. jacket. Okay, okay. It is your turn after all. Yeah, that's me and it, I'm that's like, chewing like, on like, leather. Like, I'm like, between you and me, I'm like, after, between us, like, beneath us, everybody's a dog, you know? Oh, you are drunk, sugar. Everyone beneath me is a dog. <laughs> I mean... But, you know... Anyway. I feel like Ezra is fine there. I still think you'd win the Westminster. I'm just saying. Yeah. And, and again, I'm just, like, drawing, like, <laughs> like circles in the she, air. She's like, realizing she can get away with picking on him a little bit more now. <laughs> 100%. Hmm. So, ah. so then... The next name on your hit list says uh, Ricky O'Quinn, who is supposed to be found in the uh, Admiral's Arms, a bar down by the waterfront. Okay. Ricky O'Quinn. <laughs> that feels like a fake name. <laughs> it probably it, is. It Ricky is O'Quinn. absolutely a fake name. Like, did he pull that from the fucking Outsiders or something? It sounds like an Outsider's name. I certainly can't blame him. Or, like, some shitty little gangs of New York movie, like, Hey, what's up? I'm Ricky O'Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't Whatever, know. I let's mean, go it's... kill this fuck. I can I see agree. that being the case. And I hand the list over to Christina. And Chief of power. Ooh, interesting. He's too drunk to drive right now. Um. All right, so... And where does it say that we should go? Uh, the Admiral's Arms. It's a bar the by the Arms. waterfront, it says. Okay. Uh, so it looks like we're going down by the waterfront. There's a bar that this guy's supposed to be at. Lovely. I get the sense that none of us will fit in. 
No, probably not. Well, I mean, I can pretty much fit in anywhere, if I'm to be honest. Except for, like, high-class places, because they tend to snub their nose at me a bit. So, like, yeah. I can technically fit in, but, like, no one will see me. But then again, if I really wanted to, nobody will know that I'm not supposed to be there, so... That's very fair. I mean, it would take a lot of more work for me to fit to in. To be fair, Wright's very hot, so no one's going to question anywhere she is. Also, everybody very loves me, so I think we're good to go, and I walk out the door. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna oh, be like loud. quickly chasing him. Like, no, 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 Five. Five. Four. One, four? Two, yeah, four. Uh, five. Perfect. Five? All right. Um, so Ezra and Wright are actually the first ones to hear it. Uh, Christina, you're a little preoccupied chasing down your drunk drunk friend here. Uh, Dante, you're not far behind on hearing it. Um, but the two of you hear very clearly what sounds like a, a few sets of wheels pulling up on the asphalt outside. Ooh. Well, that's unsettling. I think, I think we have visitors. We're certainly not supposed to. Does anybody else know where you live? Like that this is your place or you got like a roommate or something? No, all the roommates that come here are dead. Uh, if I thought that might be the case. If we're lucky, it's somebody who thinks that this place is abandoned. And if we're not? Then we're not. Oh, fair, fair, fair. All right. Uh, uh, Christina. C Christina! Yes? We've got company, I think. Oh, shit. And I'm just gonna, like, <sighs> use one of the shadow tentacles I still have to, like, yank Ezra back. <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh, just, we heard something. Like, there's another car or something like that. Car? Or, like... It didn't sound loud enough to be a motorcycle... But it could be a truck. Definitely a vehicle. Yeah. Those of you who got five successes, there was more than one vehicle's worth of wheels out there. Eh, probably a few vehicles. Okay, so we need to fucking it, go. We need to go. Most likely. Is there, is there a back exit, Dante? We came through the back exit. Oh, is that where the cars are coming from? No, I think they were out front. So we okay, the cars are go. The cars are coming from whichever side you parked your car on. We parked in front and then walked around the side. So, so the wheels are near our car, but not where we came in. Okay, we so we cars versus like motorcycles. Out of curiosity. Um, why don't you go ahead and give me? Um, does anyone here have drive? I do! No. As the one that drives oh. this group, I have zero. I do! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get an Intel drive roll from everyone, regardless <laughs> of whether or not you have drive. That's still really bad dice for me. <laughs> one! But I got two! Okay. <laughs> and a two? My two dice got and a, a two. two. <laughs> and a one? Um... Jesus. Um, those of you who got uh, the high rolling twos, um, <laughs> maybe. Like, maybe for sure. Maybe you could maybe tell if it was a motorcycle, probably, if you, like, got a look at it. Probably, I mean, maybe. My favorite. 
Do, does it really matter if it's a motorcycle or a car or a truck or a hearse for that matter? I mean, like, it doesn't matter. Like, there's, there's fucking there's... noise out there. Like, we should go. It does way. matter. Way. It does matter because if it's a car, that means more people can fit in it. Let's go oh, the opposite wow. direction. Whatever exactly. it is, let's fucking go. Exactly. And Christina, w- half dragging Ezra with the shadow tentacle, is like booking it out the door they came in. Yeah, this and, uh, is following, yeah following. following behind and cl- like you know, force closing the sliding door once everybody's out. Uh, so who is the first person out this door? Christina and Ezra. Christina and Ezra. Who would you say is the first person out this door? Christina, are you going out first or are you pushing Uh-oh. Ezra ahead of you? It's me. It's you? Yeah. All oh, right. She's dragging. <laughs> you love when players are like, yeah. Yeah. I've been uh, a storyteller. So- I know when I'm being had. <laughs> Uh, So Christina opens the doors and steps out, and there is an immediate gunfire. And a a bullet whizzes past Christina awful close. And outside, you can already see there's one car directly in front of you, and you can see headlights from pretty much every direction you can see. Fuck. Um as soon can I can I jump in like as soon as that happens like as you said a gunshot comes near Christina right Yeah so Yeah that's as, correct So as soon as that happens like Ezra seems to like like just like like predator almost like fix on some point in the distance uh, and I pass a rouse check um and a darkness like starts spreading from my feet like like these tendrils of shadow, right? Spreading out on the ground, blanketing the area near me, like crawling up any surfaces nearby, um, spreading out, shifting from my physical space. Um, and I basically, it, it's sticking in shrouds, so I spend my turn concentrating on that as, as the shadow effect spreads over, uh, hopefully whoever is causing whatever's happening nearby us. Um, it says the the effect is uh, equal to twice my oblivion rating, which I technically don't have, but you tell me based off my diablery. Um, but I'm going to spread that shadow out from my body almost absentmindedly. Like, like I just like, like I, I reflex, like, yeah, like I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but it just starts to spill out for me and like shroud the area around us. Um, so yeah, you all see this happen, and it's not a particularly large shroud, um, but it's I mean, definitely not- I mean, it's about how not... you use the shroud. Exactly. <laughs> it's the motion of the oblivion? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my god, okay. Storyteller. Well, you're the storyteller. <laughs> storyteller. Yes. Uh, before everything goes black, can we see- like where the gunshot came from? Uh, yes, the gunshot came uh, from not particularly far away. It came from the car that's uh, parked ahead of you. Wait, may I do something as everything like fades into shadow? Yeah, for sure. I, I'm all about doing shit here. Before before we lose track of it, I'm just going to reach out and just go give and pull, and I want to use whispers to the flesh to whoever's in the car. Okay. Um. Now that only. That's one target, correct? If one target, were... yes. Okay. Um, are you one target per time I do it. Totally. Are you targeting anyone in particular in this car? Like, are you hoping for Mr. Gun or a driver? Doesn't matter. Or... Doesn't matter. Fabulous. Let's see who you get. Okay. Um, so from inside this car, you hear a scream. Oh, you're not going to contest? Uh, no. Okay, then they're probably dead. Yes. Because it's aggravated damage and I rolled a seven. Oh. Um, so from inside this ha- car, you just hear... First you hear the screams of someone's flesh being rended off from a distance. Um, and one of the last things you see before this shroud encloses over you is the inside of this windshield blasted with red as yep. the driver's flesh is ripped directly off of him and towards Dante, which of course smacks straight into the windshield of this car. Yep. 
followed by a couple more screams from inside the car that aren't quite so much of pain as they are of abject horror, as whomever was in this car obviously just watched what happened. And then the shroud closes over you. Now, Muzi, you have just seen this shroud appear around the uh, side of the building. Uh, Muzi's undeterred. Because Eyes of the Beast lets him see through these shenanigans. Um, and, you know, I am trying to gather the wits of everybody else who is kind of losing their shit right now. Because they just watched a friend get exploded. We don't have time for this. We got to fight. We must break Um. them all. And the, the guys you've got with you are kind of like, yeah, yeah, fuck these people. This is messed up. Fuck them. This is our city. Yeah. They don't take this shit from us. That's what we're here for. Uh, I'm sorry, right? You said something? Yeah. Uh, I, if, with all the commotion that's happening, I would like to grab, if I can, uh, grab whoever is in the door and pull them back. Um, and close the door and use Labyrinth Trail. And I'm going to try to see, essentially I'm going, uh, I want to activate the Labyrinth Trail and then I'm going to look at, I want to look at Dante and be like, sewer grates, air vents, anything around here that we can get like around and about in. What about the fucking roof? That there's works. The, there's the roof. There's also uh no, there's the roof. Yeah, let, let's do that. That way we can... Because I'm going to do a little thing, so hopefully they won't know where the hell we are, and they'll get kind of lost about it, and okay. then we can regain footing and, you know, kind of, you know, do our thing and, like, surround... You know, well, not really surround... There's a lot of them, so surrounding's not really going to be a thing. But, like, you know, we can, like, have the upper hand or the, the advantage. That That's it. That's understandable. Uh, there's a couple of fire fire exits that we can probably utilize. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, and I'll just walk in further into the hospital. So yeah, I'm gonna activate the Labyrinth Trail and I guess it would be against uh, Muzi. So it would be my manipulation and obfuscate versus resolve and investigation. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Seven critical. All right. Two. So close. Not his area of expertise. (laughs) (laughs) So, so close. Um, We're going to give a general roll to the other people who are here. I'm just going to roll for kind of all of them all at once. Um, See how they do. So because that's a critical, thank you for reminding me of that, by the way. Um, the I can actually lead them into harm's way, so considering that there's a shroud out there, I want to kind of lead them into running into each other, and maybe I can t- a few of them will take each other out. And if they're in okay. the shroud, they get a three dice penalty to any rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As somebody um, practiced in the shadow arts. Would know. <laughs> practiced for like 10 whole minutes you guys I'm like, i really get it you know like i'm really <laughs> feeling the universe while you were diablerizing i studied the shadow <laughs> oh my god oh my god i can't okay <laughs> <laughs> she's loving oh, this she's just like remind me to talk to you about something later <laughs> you're really taking to this <laughs> Um, so you guys are going to be going about, was it heading up to the roof was the plan? Mm Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Um, so while you guys are going about that, uh, Dante, out of curiosity, how tall was this place? Uh, it's like, it's just a two-story hospital. Perfect. Perfect. Just want to make sure we weren't going up like, like 12 floors here. All right. Um, so it's not going to take you guys long to get up to the roof. Uh, 
Muzino, you have seen them disappear back into this building. Uh, you have not not a small number of people here with you of, I'll call it, varying walks of life and unlife. Um, so you have people you could send, you have people you could lead. Uh, so, I think Musi would be like, okay, anyone who's capable of climbing, we climb. Everyone else run through the building. We'll catch him. We'll pencil. Yes, sir. You got it. So, um, about three people uh, are going to be heading off with you. A large number are going to be trying to get through the shroud and then trying to get through Wright's uh, uh, labyrinth trail. Um, there is uh, one younger woman uh, who you know is BB, who just kind of is in the back of one of the cars, who's just sort of watching out of the window. Uh, she does not appear to be involving herself with this. Uh, okay. I tell her, if we're not back in ten minutes, you go. Tell the rest. I will. I'll make sure. All right, so you guys are climbing. I am going to go ahead and get a Dex Athletics from you, although I believe you also have a discipline that could help with this, no? I can just Soaring Leap. I can definitely with my number of dice. (laughs) The other reason we needed to know the height of this building. Yeah. With two stories, easy. (laughs) Easy. Damn, it should have been Uh, 12. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> able to leap moderate-sized buildings in a sequ- in a single bound. The storyteller said small hospital. I can't make it towering. <laughs> um, so you're going to go straight up. Let's get a roll for some of your other friends. All right. So one of your other people also soaring leaps up there with you. Uh, two others uh, begin the... Not difficult, but not exactly easy task Mm -hmm. of scaling this building. The building itself is pretty scalable, but it's also in some pretty serious disrepair. So there's definitely a bit of slow going for at least one of them. Uh, The others go in through this door and you will be losing track of them until either they arrive up top or other things happen to them. Okay. All right. How will you four be heading up to the ceiling? Roof, for the first, whatever the word is. Well, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going right back into the surgical wing because uh, I mentioned that it was stocked because it mm-hmm. needs to be for me to sleep, to have a nice comfy sleep. So I'm going to just sort of push a couple of the carts of the various like scalpels, bone saws, etc., towards the others. I'm going to take a bundle of them, roll them up, pick them up, and then it's not there anymore as I use empty hands to just invisible it. So I'm still holding it, it's just out of sight. And for the rest I go, help yourselves. I'm good. Well, that's pretty. And I'm just gonna take a scalpel and just kind of stick it like in my boot. Just in case, you know, just in case I end up like losing this thing and I just pull out the the retractable blade that I have. Still uh, sticky with that one security guard's blood. I really gotta remember one to of, clean this thing. One of my shadow tentacles just waves. I'm good. Oh, very you. well. Some of these are silver. I thought it would offer. And I'll continue to walk through the surgical wing uh, towards one of the fire escapes. So we're, we're at ground floor. I have to go take the stairs up, and then it's a door at the top of the second floor stairs. Or not at the top. Like You get to the second floor, and then you go like half a flight up and it's the emergency door. It's not connected to any alarm because the building is offline. Uh, Ezra, do you take any of these surgical weapons? No. No No. is a legitimate answer. I'm going to (laughs) assume that the scalpel is surgical steel. Some of them are surgical steel, some of them are silver. Let's hope that I grabbed the surgical steel one. Oh, well, let's find out if you did. (laughs) Otherwise, it would not have gone in my shoe. It would have been dropped. (laughs) So that is, in fact, what happens. 
Right goes, ooh, for one of them, picks it up, and immediately her fingertips start smoking. Ow! Oh, not that one, then. Uh, and I, I will look for a surgical steel one and hand it to her. Probably that one. I'm going to take that one. That one yeah, does that one. not burn you. Stick that one in my boot. That one bit me. Mixed mediums. Ezra? And like like Ezra Ezra does like maybe you kind of absentmindedly like reach towards the surgical instruments, but like as you've noticed at this point, since he like shed the the over vest he was wearing, he does have two pistols slung on like a shoulder harness uh, under either either armpit. He kinda of reaches towards them and then like just like touches like the butts of two guns under his arms and just kinda of like smiles and like again like still very much feeling the high like continues to move up the uh the progression without grabbing any scalpels you know who needs that really you know who i mean like fucking weaklings i don't know not me it's pretty and fun he doesn't say that <laughs> but you get the feeling. <laughs> like you get the vibe you, you get that like we're better than everyone vibe he's been throwing he throws yeah. off serious like peloton owner vibes he's like <laughs> real bikes okay christina's like i have to ruin him i have to <laughs> oh my god christina christina's got that vibe of like every bitch from a 90s teen movie that is like going to wreck the nerd kid She's just like, yeah, this is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, when we, by the time we get up to the roof, Christina will not be the first one out. She learned her lesson. <laughs> I, will, I, I will pass by Christina and just go, I like the new coat. Did you bring, did you bring that with you? Yeah. Lovely. And I'll push, I'll push the door open. I'm not going to go out the door. I'm just going to push it open. Do I beat him to the door? This if you jumped up, up, then probably. I jumped up. Yes, you will beat him to the door if you would like to, obviously. And this is this is one of those uh, fabulous uh, rooftops that looks like it's straight out of the Matrix. It's got, like, inappropriate, like, uh, air duct type things that people could... Waist-high walls one could hide behind if they chose to. And one red fire escape door that for some reason is in the middle of the roof. <laughs> Fair you enough. know it. You've seen it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think Moosey would... He's leading this charge. He has no qualms about this. So people in the building, whoever's the first person coming up these stairs, he's just going to open up the door and try to fuck their day up. So I go to push the door open and the door flies open in front of it me. It flies open. Yep. And uh, as soon as you uh, see me on the other side of the door... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a couple rouse checks here. Oh no, and I want to use Fist of Cane. <laughs> All right, are they in I get a little hunger still. No, the shroud is downstairs. We're upstairs now. But, like, I'm high, so the shroud <laughs> is... <laughs> the shroud is wherever you I feel am. it. Oh, um, no. no, the shroud is not on top of you currently, Um, but no, the shadows of too. this... The shadows of this stairwell are still, like, vibing with Ezra. Oh, my she is like, oh, what my God. God. Uh, Apparently, oh, it's yeah. a tenebration that makes you a valley girl or oblivion. Shit. It. You know what? <laughs> In the valley, it's a tenebration. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This is about to suck. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> remember how you just fixed your face up? Well, oh. I. Well, it's fist of cane, so I have to roll something to dodge, right? Uh, yes, Fist of Cane. Because all, all he's doing is he's amping up, he's amping just, up what he can do. I'm just rolling what I can yeah. do, yeah. Right, uh, can I, can I do something else instead of, like, the usual Dex Athletics to dodge? Uh, what would you like to do? Rouse check, one with, one with the land, and I want to just, while he, when he takes a swing, I just want to sink into the floor to throw him off his balance. So he swings in the air. Behind you, though? 
Because oh, this yeah, is not take me. <laughs> not, not, I mean, not immediately unless you're like Superman punching forward. Well, I guess that is the question. Are you Superman punching forward or are you just like... I am thing? trying to go through you. Okay. So before we go any further, before we know who succeeds at what roles and who's where, let's get a Scooby-Doo order. Okay. What order front. are we all coming up the stairs? So we've got Dante in the front, followed by... I assumed I was behind Dante. Right, and followed I'm, by... I'm behind right. And I'm following Christina. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Totally no no reason, no issue. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get you two to roll your stuff. And yeah, yeah. basically what's going to happen here is uh, if Muzi rolls higher, then he'll be able to get to you. If you roll higher, then you'll sink into the floor and it'll land on whoever's behind you. Well, no, if, like I said, if, if, it, if, I, if he's like lunging straight at me and not just taking a swing, I'm not going to drop and let somebody else get hit. Aw, honor among some what? Uh, but I am going to do that rouse check for Horde form instead. Totally. It'll take the full turn to activate, so I... I I defend with whatever I've got normally. Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna take it, and it's uh, Dex Athletics to dodge in this. Yes. Yep. Let's get a Dex Athletics from you, please. I got five. Five. Uh, all right. So I got messy crit plus prowess. That is. Uh, 13. 13. I have like one hit point left. Okay. <laughs> yeah. With prow- Well, it's all ag damage now. Cause yeah, I have, one, I, have, I have one health left. Woo! Lord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 I dumped in with my uh, vicissitude and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, so, you yeah. Have just- a, basically a, a giant gaping hole in your chest at this point, then. Yep. Yeah, which is about to which is about to form around you into hard form. So that'll be fun. So Wright definitely has the best view of this because these are emergency stairs. So you guys are kind of stuck single file. Uh, Christina, you barely even see what is happening. You just know something extremely bad is happening up at this door. Um, so the door gets flung open, and only Wright do you realize that it's not uh, Dante who. F- who flung it open, but that it was pulled from the outside. And you see Muzi standing there. And he is not standing for very long as he takes this strike out at Dante, who does not get out of the way of it. And you hear bone crack and flesh rend, and you pretty much see Muzi's fist come right out the other side of Dante's sternum. Not far from your face. That's so rude. And you're so cold. You're freezing. You can't move. Ice. And I would like to use shimistry. To make now, I believe, Dante, you person. are taking this whole turn to shift into horrid form. Yep. Like, yeah, so I did my I did my thing, uh, and I'll be I'll be shifting. <laughs> so uh, let's get a roll from you right while this happens. Uh, right. Muzi, you have your fist forward and you go to start extracting it. And this man in front of you begins to just shift right in front of your very eyes. This is not something you've seen firsthand before. I would like to add that part of this is I'm attempting to form my body back around his fist so he can't go away. All right. Um, uh, you had five successes on your shift, as I recall. That was my, my that was my dodging. Right? It's just a rouse check. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, it's uh, just a rouse check. Uh, I get four. I get four free changes, and that's one of them. As I'm forming back around his around his wrist. Perfect. I'll do we'll the rest when it actually right begins does. my turn again. Okay. I did rouse as well. Okay. Ooh. Nine critical. Nine critical. Uh, yes. What are you using exactly on this one? Chemistry. Chemistry. Mm-hmm. Um. So. Composure wits uh, to defend. Composure I think. wits to defend. Okay. 
have to find something real quick. Uh, hold on. Because I think I might actually get another dice to add to that, but I'm trying to look what the blood potency rule is again. I do get Five. another dice. Hold on. You already beat him, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I beat him even more because that's what was it? Nine, no, ten, ten. Ten. All right. <laughs> um. So this woman starts talking from behind Dante, and you feel just this creeping ice snaking up your body, locking you into place in this doorway. You, for the life of you, or I suppose for the unlife of you, can't find the strength in your body to step back as Dante begins to reform around your wrist. Now, other people can interact with this, as I recall, right? Like, it's yeah. only going to be Muzi who is affected yes. by this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so... While you're standing there, frozen, you feel two sets of arms reach out and grab onto either of your arms and haul you back. So um, and, cold. And it does break his fist out of you as he goes tumbling back. Uh, Muzi, for, for this moment, is knocked a little ass over tea kettle. Um, as the rest of you realize that there are at least two more people up on this roof for him to have been grabbed like that. Okay. How, so in noticing this, uh, if I look around and I can make what's awareness for it, if you want, would I notice the other two people? Um, go ahead and make a wits awareness. Um, at the very least, you'd be confident there's someone else up there because he was yanked back. Could I go ahead and uh, make that check as well? Yes, please. Sweet. That's a five. That's a five. So yes, With you know that there are, there are at least two other people on this roof from what you saw. Can I see them? Like see where they are? Because I'm clearly about to pull some fuck shit. <laughs> you cannot currently, especially with Dante reforming in front of this door. I mean, there's a fucking hole right now, so who knows? <laughs> there's a fucking... <laughs> All you saw was... <laughs> <laughs> nice slurping sound as the arm came out. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe she can see. Uh, maybe. No, what you, what you saw was this phenomenal image of, uh, of Muzi going backwards on his ass across the, uh, across the roof for a second. Uh, Ezra, how did we do on our... Just a three... Just a three? All right, so you know without question that there's one person up there, and you think there might be a second, but you can't be totally sure, because that was some weird shit that just happened right there in front of you. For real. You know, how how many, like, stories up is that from us? Um, I mean, you guys are at the doorway, so I figure, like, at most eight steps. It really depends how squooshed in you all planned to be as sure. you're going up these stairs. None of you seem like big personal bubble respecters to me. <laughs> so the doorway is now cleared for the moment. Clear as in like we could go through it or like we can see through it? Both. Okay. I'm gonna go um, forward then. With you being fourth in line, though, you will have to get closer to the door to do anything. I'm third in line. Oh, Ezra's my behind. bad, my bad. Sorry, okay. sorry. Um, you'll still have to move up just a little, um, although right, you said, is stepping oh, out no, of the doorway. I'm, I'm going to run out the doorway. And in doing that, I am going to throw out my arms of Araman, it since I have 12 of them in all clock direction around me. So just, yeah, like, like the, um, go, go, you uh, <laughs> ball, just shing. 
just to see because oh. I can detect that there's this guy and two other guys out here so I'm just doing a clock formation of stab arms of Araman out okay um Dante are you stepping forward through the door as well or are you staying here to uh I mean I'm, I'm in the middle I'm still if it's has the turn cycled back through yet or I figure the turn cycles back through as everyone kind of declares if they're heading okay. through the door now okay, you're then... first at the door so I will be stepping forward yes so okay, as, I ste- as I step forward like the voice just changes and the word the sentence doesn't quite finish but Muzi, you vaguely hear Dante say, get out of my house before it turns garbled. I'm using my free points for majority redistribution uh, and and armor. Uh, but then one but then one of them is just gonna be uh, the the jaw is just gonna is gonna split all the way back again and it's going to like f- like be able to full snake unhinge like down to the rib cage. It's gonna look like one of those things from the mummy. Dante still looks like Dante, just bigger and like more grotesque, but he still looks like a guy in a suit that is now bulkier with an unhinged jaw and like longer arms. Uh, and right, you were going through the door as well. Yep. Okay, and for my own records here, Ezra, are you also stepping through the door? Yes, 100%. Perfect. So. Muzi, you are still on the ground for the time being. Your two boys are there with you who hauled you back, and they both turn with their their rifle or their um, guns lifted. But who would you guys say is the first one through the door? I mean, it's, this um, time. Did anybody push past me? or It would uh, only be yeah. Christina who might Christina have. Christina would have pushed past you. I was gonna say I might have as well. Like I was behind, so probably if not her going past, she was running and I was going through. So she pro she might have gone through just like a few seconds before I did. But yeah. All right. Um. Why don't I get the three of you to roll me uh, if you have a D10, and we'll see who gets through mm-hmm. the door first. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. So Christina, I guess, gets through first. And gunfire rains down on top of your head as you step through this. Mm-hmm. I am, uh, I've got lethal body up. Mm-hmm. Um, and let me see, I've got to, let me, I have to double check certain powers of mine. If you yeah. wanna. If, I'm also going to describe the scene so I can do that. <laughs> I got so like as you... seven PDFs open. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. I just have Same. them all. I'm like, these are my cheat sheets. They tell me what you do and what you roll. That's the thing um, with combat heavy vampire games. None of us are used to it. Mm-hmm. No. And this was great. I was like, I don't know how V5 works. I'm going to run a super mechanics heavy game. <laughs> um... So, Christina, you step through, and because it's such a reflexive action for you, you absolutely get these shadow tentacles out before the first um, the first rain of gunfire comes down on you. Okay. Uh, the fourth person who had gotten up onto this roof, who none of the rest of you saw, has actually gotten up on top of this uh, fire exit and is shooting down at you from above. <laughs> may, I, may I do a reflexive action? Sure. I'm still holding the invisible like bundle of scalpels. As I shift, I'm just gonna throw them straight up, and so they'll become visible and just knives go upward at this dude. <laughs> we're, we're just throwing handfuls of knives in this I game. Can't do, I'm too big. I can't do anything with any more. So they're just going straight up at him. <laughs> at bare minimum to distract him, at most to cut him. All right. Um. This got out of hand fast. It sure did. <laughs> it always <laughs> does in this game. I don't know why. Um, if that, depending on what happens with that, if given a uh, time, if I can, um, I do have a nine millimeter. I can try to shoot him, whoever it is. Okay. That'll take you a second because you're going to have to get it out and turn around and I, I out of curiosity, are you gonna try to aim, or are you just like? 
I'm not really an aim kind of girl. <laughs> I'm just going to start shooting where I think it's at and hope I hit something. Uh, not real really quick, an aim kind of girl. Since I finally looked up my thing, um, when by the time I come out and throw out the tentacles, do I see Muzi? Yes, you will see Muzi ahead of you. He, uh, until everyone is through the door, so pretty much you'll you'll get these 12 tentacles out and you can aim for him if you want you just won't be able to do anything additional to that because he was only knocked down for sort of this one turn it's not that i'm i'm doing that and wanting to make sure i catch his eyes okay um so a few things happen all at once as this goes down because you are gonna have to try to catch his eyes through a rain of uh submachine gun fire going directly into the top of your head uh, now there isn't a uh, soak. Are you trying to dodge this once it actually starts or anything like that? Once I run out, I'm like slamming down onto the ground to let the tentacles go out. Okay. Um, so he's just going to basically have a clear shot to fire on you then. Until these knives go up in the air. Well, the, the dodge is probably run dive probably so yeah it is kind of a dodge okay um you are not going to be able to catch mosey's eye while you are dodging you are either going to have to take this in the head or dodge dodge so dodge what dex athletics no way (laughs) (laughs) oh wonderful that's uh that's certainly a roll uh Praise Jesus, two out of two. (laughs) So you take a, a, you hit the deck, as they say, and uh, get yourself a nice little slide behind one of these convenient waist-high air ducts that are available to you. Um, Dante, you throw a handful of knives in the air. Mm Mm-hmm. And right, you fire blindly into the air slash behind you. Where I think those shots are coming from. Perfect. Uh, while that's going on, uh, Ezra will reach the door to be able to step through to enter this combat. Uh, Muzi is going to regain his feet. And right here is where I think we're going to take ourselves a little break. Oh, I'm sorry, Ezra, did you want to do something first? No, just I, I passed a rouse check as I went up. It would have been another spreading of the darkness like again like very out Another of stig and shroud yeah like very borderline out of body just kind of like rising up and just like instinctively like you know uh, I, I critted actually on that rouse check uh, so like uh. doesn't mean anything but let's say it um and so just <laughs> continually like absent-mindedly almost like spreading that out around <laughs> himself as he as we go up Fabulous. So to add one more level of chaos to it, that also happens just as Ezra reaches the stairs. And that is where we're going to go ahead and take our break for this evening. So we will see you guys back here in about five minutes for the surely chaos-free conclusion of this combat. (laughs) See you soon.
join our pack who are currently in the midst of a somewhat serious problem on the roof of Dante's Haven at the moment. So just to recap where we all were, <laughs> uh, Mosey had just regained his footing, Christina had taken a uh, dive to hide from the gunfire, uh, Ezra had just come through our door, Dante had just thrown a handful of knives directly up and backward, and Wright is firing blindly behind her. So if you're just joining us, welcome to the chaos. <laughs> so, uh, Wright, let's start with getting a uh, deck, jeez, uh, dex and firearms, luck and firearms. I don't think there's any <laughs> dex involved in this. Arguably there's dex involved in this. Yeah. And. Dante, why don't we get a, uh, I guess, go ahead and give me a dex and athletics or a dex and melee, whichever is higher for you. Three. Three? Three. Three? Three. All right. Okay. Okay. So this person up above the, uh, <laughs> you guys stop messaging the chat. <laughs> um, so this person who is up above, <laughs> you're ruining it. <laughs> Chaos ensues. The person who is up above the door does stop firing as a handful of sharp implements and bullets whiz in his general sort of direction. There is definitely a uh, cry of pain, though no one's really paying enough attention to where this is actually going to know just how well the hit was or not. Um, but the gunfire from above does stop. So he was at least startled enough to no longer be firing down at you all. Um, Mosey, let's go ahead and start off at the top with you. What would you like to do? You have regained your footing, but you are now a distance away. Uh, there's a person laying down that's been shot at, right? That is correct. Um, you do not currently have like eyesight's on her, um, but you did see where she was. Because she uh, got down behind one of those convenient waist-high walls. Yeah, then I'm just going to soaring leap and jump on top of whoever this person is. I don't care who they are. Giggity. Checks out. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I think... What am I going to do here? I have some moves. I have options. Let me make sure what I want to do. I think. Go ahead, I dare you. <laughs> Ooh. Well. We got. You fighting. said the magic words. <laughs> uh, Challenge accepted. We're going to do a whole nother, um, you know, fist of cane then. All right. I, I am basically going to try to put this person's head through the, the roof here. All right. Go ahead and make your uh, your rolls for that. Ralph's uh, check is a success. Glorious. Uh, Chris, 
Dina, are you... You will see him coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have sent your shadow tentacles out. I sent them out in a stab motion, so they're back with me. Okay. There is still a, uh, a uh, yep. definitely respectable-sized shroud in the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, very respectable. Is he? You know, this never happens. It's a very respectable size <laughs> shroud. Like, you know. Is he? Is he coming into the shroud to uh, jump on me? Uh, yes. no, no. The shroud would, doesn't extend quite as far uh, as you. I, I would totally do that, but. Don't worry. You've got right in your shroud. You're not alone in the shroud. Hi. <laughs> Meanwhile, right is suffocating in oblivion. <laughs> Writes into that kind of stuff, I think. Writes not uh, breathing anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. Th- this is another 13 with a crit. Oh. That's and all I, I Since I can see him coming, I am going to counter uh, with my arms. Okay. Uh, there are 12 of them, so I... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get more dice. <laughs> When in uh, doubt, add more dice. You're trying to, like, that's slap the idea. Him. You're trying to slap him or catch him before he hits you? Yep. I'm gonna just catch him in the air. Hold on, let me fucking maraca my way through this. Ugh. Hold on. Math. Ugh, the worst part. Ooh, shit. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm too gay for this amount of math. <laughs> Can we make a goddamn t-shirt, please? Oh, I love you, LA. That, that was perfect. That was perfect. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I regret Stay. pitching this whole game. <laughs> That's going to be a 16. With the fuck? five of those being critical. Alrighty, so what would you, in a perfect world, what would you like to do with these shadow tentacles as he's coming, soaring, leaping, fist of cane at the ready? I'm imagining uh, this is sort of a superhero landing moment is the plan here. <laughs> he's trying to come down like- Oh yeah, Tony I am Stark. basically soaring, leaping, and just like trying to just land, grab the head, and just bash it through the ceiling, essentially. Okay, so I want to, since there's 12 arms, and fuck it, let's do fun things, because there's so many of them. Uh, reach up, and I want to ensnare his entire body mummy style with him, so that he is just wrapped- Elbows to asshole with oblivion. All right. Uh, so as he comes soaring in towards you, um, <laughs> it actually kind of takes you a couple of tentacles to stop his uh, momentum. Because with the amount of successes he got so on his I'm wrapping it, <laughs> yeah, you feel that moment as these tentacles are shattered beneath the power of his strike as he's coming through. They are basically taking some of this damage for you. Um, Now you have 12 tentacles with 16 successes versus 13 successes. So we're just gonna go ahead and say that you just flat out lose like six of these tentacles as he's on his way to you. Yeah, I have a feeling that would have been- There's math uh, behind this if you like. (laughs) I have a feeling that would have probably been a messy crit, but I'm still at zero hunger, <laughs> so. Um, so yeah, you feel these these extensions of your blood, mm-hmm. these extensions of your power, just ripped asunder as he approaches. Um, but you do manage to get uh, six of them wrapped around him. It is not quite the. Uh, uh, it is not quite the bundle you had hoped it would be when you were coming at it with 12 arms here. Uh, But you do manage to get Muzi entangled. Now, there are still three other people on this roof. So one of them turns and just starts firing blindly into this uh, shroud of darkness that has appeared in the doorway. Um, So 
through the through the cold of your shadow shroud, Ezra, you feel and hear these bullets come whizzing towards you. Like, yeah, I do. Theoretically. Theoretically. <laughs> Your totes like whatever about it, though. But yeah, I, I think I'm still very much in that moment. Like, especially of like the shadow pushing out. I'm not feeling as long as it doesn't hit me, or maybe even like Christina. Like, I'm not feeling the impact. You you do feel one impact, and it might kind of knock you not out of this. Uh, revelry or reverie or however you pronounce words language is as hard as math (laughs) Um, one of them does catch you in the upper shoulder most of them are just going past you but through this this blood haze you do feel that like cuff of one of them getting you I like I I don't know what the actual roll would be but I just rolled one die and got a 10 on it so I'm going to say that like I just I almost dismissed that like I'm Oh, so like a composure so like, check. Yeah, sure, whatever she said, but I passed it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is the best way to address <laughs> any role in any game. <laughs> um, but, but I rolled, I, I would have rolled two die for that. Would have passed that too, so fuck you. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> Like I, I don't think like Ezra is in the moment, and he's like, like connected with the other, with the La Sombra and the group, and like would not have even felt it, and so continues pushing that out further. Has the shadow touched like Muzia? Is that or is it still kind of like contained? Um, so as you push it out further, you, you don't reach Muzi because he is currently up in the air being held aloft by Christina's shadow tentacles. Um, but you do feel, uh, you're not sure if it's the person who is shooting at you or the other person, um, but you do reach out and start to encompass one of the other people who is on this roof. And, and I'm not sure if it's the person shooting me. You're not totally sure, especially since you, you know, you were just kind of like chill with being shot at. So you didn't even think to kind of like triangulate where it might have been coming from. Right, right, right. And but I, it's a person uh, and they're here. And I, I, it's probably a rouse check. Let's double check. Seven. Sure. That's fine. Um, I just like in my reverie, just kind of like send the sense that and send the word out leap with a terminal decree. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna need a roll for that, I'm pretty sure. If they're a vampire... Uh, that'll be your charisma dominate, uh, versus their intel resolve. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> Just roll some friggin' dice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, alleged. <laughs> That's some great shit. That's our goal to vaguely make Lex regret ever doing this game. Yep. While also making her very <laughs> proud of us. <laughs> I'm sorry, how many did you say? Eight with a crit. Eight with a crit? Alright. Um uh Muzi, you should have gotten people who roll dice better than I am rolling for this person. <laughs> This is distinctly your fault for not having better dice rollers in your retinue. Get get better lackeys. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> also, real real quick, strange point of order for me. Um, was he listed on our sheet as a primogen? Because we were hunting down all the primogen. So is this the Bruja primogen? I don't think we know this guy's name Bruja- yet. Ricky well, O'Quinn was listed on your sheet as the right. Bruja Primogen. That's yeah, right. we don't. Okay. We don't know who the fuck this is. We don't know who this, this man is. This does but... not look like a Ricky O'Quinn to you. Well, clearly, but I, I was just making sure. <laughs> I throw a potato at him for for Prague Brain uh, for Conclave at Prague Brain. Is there a Bruja Primogen that was on the list? Because 
that's going to be sitting in the back of Christina's mind is that's weird. Yeah. It, it is possible one of the other people here was Ricky O'Quinn. You just don't She's know. She's not it's even not thinking like about that, right? She's not even thinking about that, but like looking at the sheet, I, I just realized, wait a second, Bruja Primogen. That's a Camarilla thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. So this man steps back out of your shroud and kind of kind of stutter steps for a second before turning and swan leaping off of the edge of this building. Just arms outstretched, out he goes, and then gravity takes hold and there is a distinct splattering kind of noise from below. Now, Dante and Wright, you two were standing next to each other. Dante, uh-huh. you were in horrid form. Uh-huh. Uh, you know that there is uh, the man who was up above you who appears to have stumbled backwards. Uh-huh. And then you know that there was someone else up here. And I know that the guy that punched a hole through me is up here. Yes, you do. Yes. Uh, now, you would have been able to see what just happened. Yes. So, uh... I want to charge at somebody else, but I'm still mad at that. So in horde form, I'm just going to like rake at the air, shriek, and use whispers to the flesh uh, on on him. So you see, he has to make a stamina plus composure or stamina plus fortitude roll against mine. All right, and uh, are you shooting this? Uh, are you directing this? I should say at the guy who was ahead of you, or Mister Shooty Shoot? I'm, sh- I'm at, directing it. I'm directing it as Moosey because he punched a hole in me and I got mad. Oh, perfect! So you are going to be rolling against this. So I have a question. The one that was uh, Shooty Shoot is that the one that was at the other building? Is that the one we're talking about, or where I was trying to shoot at, essentially? <laughs> Yes, Mr. Mr. Okay. Shooty from above is who you were firing blindly at, and he's not on another building. Um, you know how when you come out to like a flat roof in movies, there's always like that one, it almost looks like an outhouse that pops up out of the top that has the door that lets you out for the fire escape. He was standing up on top of that. So I guess less of a building uh, and more of like a... a like just kind of the top of the staircase. But he's, yeah. kind of, he's, he's hiding essentially though, right? He was. Now, you guys shot at him, so he's going to have stumbled (laughs) back. Okay. He was. You shot at him. (laughs) (laughs) All right. um, I'm still in the shroud, correct? Yes. Uh, Let's uh, finish off with Muzi and Dante, and then you're going to have carte blanche with this gentleman. Yeah, well, yeah, because something, because regardless of how this goes, something else is about to happen based on what I just rolled. Okay. Oh, fine. Yay, I love something. Yep. Uh, Oh, yeah. Ten successes. Uh, there's four crit. There are four crit guys in there. Uh, Fun. Okay, one of so, them is messy, Chris. Though, so thank okay. So you. you're not going to take any damage uh, because I also got ten crit. Uh, in horrid form, every crit is a messy crit, and Path of the Beast rides the wave. So I am now frenzying on this roof going forward. Uh, on that note, though, I would like to use my. Uh, my one true way to ask my beast a truth about the situation that you, the storyteller, will tell me. And the truth of the, the truth is, who are these people that dare step foot into my territory? And your beast growls growls this rage back at you, this this absolute offense that these these fucking anarch scum would dare bring this kind of force against you in your own haven. And I'm now frenzying straight forward at whoever was like like coming like I'm bursting out of the stigan shroud and whatever other person is in front of me, I am soaring leap at them. To just slam them into the ground. Alright. Uh so you are absolutely going to make contact with them. Mm-hmm. Um, it... <sighs> Maybe if you weren't in horrid form, this person might have been able to hold their own, but against the the mass, the creature that you are, they do not hold that kind of footing, and so you bore them to the ground. 
cool. We can come back to me, but I am going to latch onto them. <laughs> Perfect. My, so yes, we're going to hop we're over to right. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> so she's got Muzi. Ezra is playing with his shadows. Um, and he made the man swan dive. That's right. That's right. So proud. Uh, there's still a guy with the gun or person with the gun. Whoever so was shooting I, down at you. Um, I'm going to use... Uh, I think I'm just going to use Predator's Lure and make them come to me. Perfect. Um, that is going to be a rouse check just because you can't currently see them. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to be your manip presence versus their composure resolve, if you please. Also, I acted. I would have. I had uh, sh- the shroud, eyes of the beast, as well. Perfect. Um, I'm just kind yeah. of assuming everyone's just used to living in darkness now that we've got two. Yep. Oblivion friends. All right, and that's a uh, manipulation. It's a little oblivion amongst friends. Right? Dangerous, as it turns out. Really big dice pull for me. Hold on. Uh-huh. Twelve. Critical. Okie dokie. That's like a um, really big dust pool for me. I yeah, yeah it is. Um it's not such a really big dice pool for them. Let's just let's just be real fair here. Well. Um so this person stands up on top of this uh building. I'll continue to call it for lack of a better term. Doorway, I suppose. And they've just got this uh, rather, rather large uh, submachine gun just kind of dangling at the side. And they step straight forward and drop down. It's not a very far drop. This is only a doorway. So they just kind of step down and in front of you and are now just sort of staring at you and are like, you called? Mm-hmm. Um, so I kind of need you to just... um. <sighs> Apologies. No, never mind. You did kind of shoot at us, but just. Oh, oh fuck yeah, it. Yeah, that's. <laughs> with the scalpel? The Ronin blade. Oh, with the blade. All right. Let's get a dex and melee on that, please. Uh huh. Me and Mosey are just chilling here. Having a cuddle sesh. <laughs> it's all sort of happening in the same yeah. horrific five seconds. I'm what tickle me moozy right now. I uh, I have a I have a plan. I have a plan. So do I. Fantastic. We're gonna be buddies. Meanwhile, there's like ten dudes wandering around inside the hotel Six. downstairs or the hospital downstairs, being like, "I swear, this is where the path led." Six, yeah. All right. So that is gonna do them. Okay. So you take this swipe across their throat, and he stumbles back hand going up to the wound. It wasn't as deep as you were hoping. He is not instantly bleeding out at your feet the way the security guard did. Now, as I recall, and based on my notes here that are definitely super detailed, uh, Predator's lore just brings them to you. It doesn't stop them from acting in any kind of way. Nope. Fabulous. To me. So he is going to raise this gun up and he is just going to fire straight in a line directly up the middle of well, you. Storyteller, can I can I jump in on that? Uh, let's see what Wright wants to do, but there's a good chance you're going to be able to since you are, like, right there. Yeah, right there. Um, uh, well, I will try to dodge it, of course. 
Sure, let's get your dodge roll and then we will see what Ezra does and then we'll hop back over to the rest of you who are having a good time. Uh, that is not a great roll for me. And no one here is super dodgy. I still got three. <laughs> still got three? All right, let's see how he does on his firearms. So you don't quite get out of the way. Um, you very quickly figure out that this swipe across his throat has not done the kind of damage you were hoping it would. And you see this gun start to raise up. So you immediately dodge uh, out of curiosity towards Ezra or further away from the darkness. Uh, probably into the darkness further that way because uh, he probably can't see. Okay. So yeah, you go to dodge into this darkness as this machine gun just levies open gunfire up your uh, up your midsection. You manage Master. to avoid a good portion of the wounds, um, but you are going to be taking uh, two ag from that as it tears into your hip and lower abdomen. What kind of guns are they firing? Fuck. Big ones. That was so rude. And if I can do anything else, um, I would pro- I'm going to, uh, use, um, probably try to use Shimistry on him as well. And this All right, time well, because- Oh, go ahead. No, sorry, uh, we're just going to circle back to that because that'll start okay. taking place after because now you've been shot and that sort of yeah, brings everything to an end. Uh, Ezra, though, what did you want to do? Um, you won't have time to act before she gets shot, but you will have time to act basically as she crosses directly into your shroud. This man is quite close to you. Yeah, I think like the initial intent was to stop the shot, but the, that like happened. How far from me is, uh, is Muzi? Uh, Muzi's a, uh, a moderate distance away from you. He went after Christina, who had dodged off ahead. He is certainly outside of your, like, reach, but it would only take you, like, half a turn to get towards them, especially since they're not currently moving. You would not so be able to act upon reaching them, but you could move to them. Tell me how this goes. Uh, like, initial in intent was to prevent the attack on right but that not happening i would have just like slashed like fingered claws across the throat of of the person in front of me and would have like spun towards where muzi is and just yelled like in a, in a compelling manner just like stop and as i did that like the necklace uh that i have around my neck would have just like like flung out from the clothes I'm wearing and the main crystal hanging in between anyone who makes whatever check is necessary would recognize that as uh, a an emblem worn by the um, you don't have to tell us until we roll if you don't want to well I'm, I, I don't want to tell I'm, I'm a character I don't want to tell people to roll <laughs> uh, I'll leave that to storyteller if they would do, do you want to make them roll to recognize this like relic I'm wearing Yes. So, um, are you lashing out with like feral weapons or are you just lashing out at this person? Feral weapons and, and like the intent was a, a compel and I don't have mass compel. So it would have been more of a, a just like, like stop like out loud, but buoyed by the force of this visage that is bared when I turn. Right. Okay. So you lash out towards this person who did not see you being as you are in the shroud. Um, he takes some additional damage, but you're not entirely sure quite what happens to him because your attention really is more on Muzi here. Uh, I am going to get a charisma and dominate from you, Ezra, and I am going to get an intel and resolve from you, Muzi, to avoid being compelled to stop. Um, everyone else, can I get a wits plus hmm. 
I guess we'll go with wits plus a cult for everyone else. Uh, except you, Muzi, you recognize this necklace without a second thought. You know for a fact that this necklace once belonged to Siegfried, the previous prince of Vancouver from quite some time ago. Uh, I forego my role because I am in the middle of frenzy. You are busy. Three, four, four, seven. Uh, did either of you- Oh crit? shit, you got seven. I did. I, I can't do it without getting a crit. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, did you crit it all in there, Ezra? The same, that was also a crit. Uh, do you want to burn willpower to, to roll anymore? Guys, goes to defenders. Burn the willpower, burn the willpower. I can. I don't have any willpower to burn. That's the, like, if I, I, mean, I burn, yeah, I, yeah, that's, that's the, that's the best I'm gonna do. <laughs> Burning willpower would be dangerous. Uh, a willpower like per die? Remind me how that works. Three can die. Uh, up to three black die. Okay. Or okay, three okay, non hunger okay. die. Oh, I'll burn willpower. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that is two successes out of the three. So bring me to a total of nine. All right. So, Muzi, you are compelled to stop your attack um, as if being arrested in midair was not compelling enough. Um, but due to that being stopped, you get this clear and complete sight of the necklace Ezra is wearing. And it does not take you long to realize just quite who that means this is. Now, Dante, let's flip back over to you. Um, hey, I will get to, to you, Chris. I haven't gotten to do my game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. Well, all, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm draining this dude, diabolizing him if he's kindred. So come back to me. <laughs> Perfect. That's kind of what I assumed. Okay, let's hop over to Christina. Uh, yeah, I'm going to essentially uh, pull Muzi like in kind of a weird because I'm laying on the ground and he's. I have a question on this actually because she acted before me while I'm up yeah. in the air. You are compelled to uh, stop. Yeah. That that I understand. I'm compelled to stop. I Attacking. I'm not attacking. No, no, no. I am not. compelled to stop attacking, but that yeah. does not mean I'm compelled to stop doing everything. And that's the only reason I'm asking a question here. <laughs> um, I think you went at the top of all of this. Wasn't your soaring leap into an attack? Yes. I'm just... Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it you'd like to do? Because it may sort of happen at the same time as whatever it is Christina's. Spark doing. of rage! <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that does either. I uh, make someone frenzy! Yeah, I <laughs> make frenzy. All right, so, uh... Sad. Christina, what is it you are trying to do here? Uh, switch places to put him below me so I can talk to him. Oh, I like this. Then I'm in up frenzy. Okay, so let's let's yeah, stick with that. It's just gonna be like a little because she's laying on the ground with him above her, and she's like, "I can't talk to you." Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will wait so, then. I won't do anything. Yeah. All right. So, so you, gonna, you, you've got a spark of rage in the chamber, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holding action. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna switch places and kind of like perch on his chest not to like crush him but just kind of like she's a little girl she does it uh just gonna go you don't really look like a cami to me i cannot believe that you would mistake me for a camarilla then i think our interests are aligned my friend Do you intend to destroy them? Oh, 100%. Yeah. And then what is your intention? Uh, then I'm going to fuck off back home, maybe with that little sweet side dish of adventure I've got with me. And I really I don't look care around. about your city. You can have your city. I don't care. I just want these Camarilla fucks gone, so... As far as I can tell, this whole fight doesn't need to happen. 
They said you were intending to come and eat me. This Really? Who told you that? A little birdie. Mm. No, I actually don't even know who you are. I'm looking for some, like, omic dude. Uh, someone clearly that is not you. Love the accent, by the way. Um, yeah, no. I don't know who you are. None of us do. Uh, I am going to um, kind of go kill this other uh, bruja. Judging by the attitude, you're a bruja. Kind of gives it away. Um, but no. My, and my you're goal. holding me in these hands. Don't tell me that you are either a Giovanni or a La Sombra. And you don't give off the Giovanni vibes. No, I don't fuck my cousins. Neither do I. That's gross. So, and honestly, dear, I'm much worse than a La Sombra. Much, much worse. So, and I am much worse than a bruja, you might know. And you see I things like yeah. come out from Muzi. So, I think we can help each other. How do I trust you? Arguably, if you're a smart kindred, you won't. That is the right answer. Let me down. I will not blow a hole through your chest like I did. Your friend, companion. Okay. Lackey. And I'm going to stand back and release the arms of Ironman off of him, but keep them like on my person. I guess she's very attached to these arms now. <laughs> and going to shrug off the top and intentionally show off the tattoo of the black goat. Mm. So this is the way it's going to be. I figure all cards on the table so we can clean up this fucking city and be friends. There's no way we can be friends. But the enemy of my enemy is exactly. still my enemy. Will kill my enemy. <laughs> so, so stop, you fucks. Yeah, guys, like, hold off real quick. We're talking. I'm but friends with this dude's dead. No, no, he was rude. He was right. rude. He right. shot me. He was rude. Right? I know. I know, honey. I would not shoot you. I would simply rip your head off. But I didn't. Muzi, Muzi, or uh, no, I don't know your name at this point. Um, She's got a thing about... Oh, you would have hurt me. Okay, hurt people okay. call me Muzi. You would have okay. hurt me. Muzi, she's, sure. she's got a thing about rude people. You know how Macavians are. Just let it go. Anyway. Uh, so. they, they are constantly constipated. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Um... So, if you simply are... intend to destroy the Camarilla, then we have no problems. Yeah, the word I want to. That you are going after my sire, who is long dead. Who's your sire? Ricky. Ricky. Don't play me for stupid. No, like, honestly. Let's be honest. Out of this whole group, I'm the deal maker, but I am not the brains. Oh, Quinn. Oh, see, funny story. Very funny story. So technically, you're right. But like technically, because I was told that he was the Bruja Primogen. There's and, no Bruja Primogen. Right? That that's, been, that's been a little weird up here for me. I've been thinking about it since we got here. I've been thinking about that. That's kind of weird, because I'm sure you and I both remember Prague. Prague was, like, a big deal. Like, Bruja don't just become Primogen. So, I am really starting to fucking question 
who gave us this information. And I think that means somebody's feeding you information, and I'm starting to think they might be the same fucking person. I think somebody, a little birdie, wants us to clear out all of his competition from the Camarilla and then sick the Anarchs to kill us to clean up his little loose end that could tell everyone that this was all his idea. And Muzi walks very close to you, Christina, like almost mm -hmm. nose to nose, and he's like, I don't like you. Good. But I don't like it being played even more. Good. If you stay out of my territory. Tell me your territory and I'll stay far from it. And I tell you, I don't know this place, so I'm just giving yeah. you, you general Yeah, give us guidelines. the boundaries. All right. If you see us traveling through... I assure you, you won't see us stop. I don't know this fucking town, and I'm a very bad driver. Bolt so I might the Camarilla to the ends of the fucking earth. And make sure any information you get about us, go ahead, go ahead. Say you killed us. I don't know you, I've never heard of you, and you're dead. Thank you. And I am going to reach into my pocket, and I am going to pull out a small token. It is a, uh, I can't remember the fucking word, rosary. <laughs> It's a rosary that is made entirely of black onyx with a black onyx cross on it with two wings on it. And I'm going to hand it to you. Like, just holding it up, not trying to touch you. And I'm going to go, this, consider it a get out of jail free card if things ever go really bad. And Muzi checks his pockets, uh, and he pulls out a USB drive and he hands it to you. Uh, and sure. the only thing it says on the USB drive is like, if you flip it over, there's in like gold uh, Sharpie. It says NOS Ether, and he just hands it to you. No, 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 don't take it. Too late. Thank you. It no longer works anymore. Yep. 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 <laughs> he does all right. He just goes, all right. That's dead. What was that? <laughs> uh, it was uh, one of my favorite albums. Oh. Oh, Nas. Got it. I love him. Anyway. He, he, um, he, he destroyed Jay-Z. Oh, Jay -Z absolutely. Jay-Z was no competition. Absolutely. I mean, come on. Um, so, and she's going to lean real close so nobody but him can hear. So listen, when this city falls to hell, I will make sure that you are on the throne. I don't give a fuck about this city or the Camarilla, but I give a fuck about winning and I give a fuck about screwing over men who fuck me. So I am going to burn down whatever I need to and you will be king of the ashes. Uh, and Muzi just responds, like while he's so close to you, he's like, well, it's a good thing I did not fuck you. And that one over there, the new kid, I feel sorry for him. All right, we can go. Riders, round up. We leave yeah, now. Yeah, we need to have a little family meeting. 
Let's go. So, so while the course of while this conversation has been happening, yep. some other things have also been happening. Yep. Uh, let's start off with Dante, since you have the most self-contained moment here. Yeah, so I just I just trade Diablo Rise that dude. Uh, Lex and I rolled for it. Uh, I won. I have 15 XP. I'm at Humanity 4. Uh, <laughs> Y'all were busy. Yeah, so, like, at the end of that, like, I just, like, I pull up, walk towards the two of them, shifting out of horrid form, like, up to Musi and Christina, pull what's left of the dude's throat out of my mouth and just put it against Muzi's chest before I walk back to the others. Don't mind him. He's, um, intent. I'm gonna make a frenzy check. Just, just to test myself to see where I land on this. (laughs) Because this, this would be the sort of thing that would potentially drive me over the edge. Now, I do have things that keep me from frenzying so hard, so. Well, let's see if there's more. Because, right, you still have that other person. Yeah. And, so, uh, uh, what's your plan with him, since you were also had your moment whilst this conversation was occurring? Since they insisted on uh, chit-chatting all by themselves, and I have a thing about people being rude and he shot at us first and then shot me and that's fucking rude so that's peak rude (sighs) pretty much the only thing that you guys are gonna see is me stepping back after whispering in his ear and he just has a giant question mark over his head like there's nothing there anymore it's gone so Muzi this this man that you know Um, one of your fellows, not someone you're especially close to, but one of your brethren has just been sort of released by right by the shoulders and he's just kind of like dazedly wanders back to you. Is he Kindred? Yes. Muzi uh, looks at him and he says, I'm sorry, brother. And he bites him and Diablo rises him. Uh, Muzi just... is a blood leech, so Muzi has no qualms <laughs> about someone who does not have their faculties anymore being sacrificed for the greater good. Absolutely. You are fully, fully going to do that. As, as you take hold of him and go to bite into him, the fir- the only thing you hear him say is, wait, who are you? Oh, yeah. Then that would absolutely just... Muzi would just... I'm guessing that overrides the frenzy. <laughs> Yeah, is is seeing this man that you need to take care oh, of? Oh, I wouldn't have frenzied you? anyway. I I rolled I rolled really well tonight. Period. <laughs> that was that was that was five successes with a crit just now. I I wish I could roll like this all every every game. Honestly. <laughs> so essentially, Wright's just looking at Christina, and she's just like, "There has to be consequences. There's always consequences." You're right. You're right. And right in front of you, you see the consequences play out. Now, Ezra, you have seen this all go down. Uh, You were nearby enough to hear everything that Christina and Muzi had to say until they started doing their their super sexy private little whispery thing. Uh, What do you think, feel, want to do? I think... Ezra's been somewhat like Imperial up until this point, right? A little disconnected. And that moment of connection, I think, between Christina and Muzi, like, shook him a little bit. And, like, he wants to pull the attention back to him from one of them. Doesn't matter which one. Um, And so I think there is some, like, instinctive, like, he's still very, like, like, everything, everything since the the diablerizing of the La Sombra has been very instinctive. So I think instinctively he's trying to pull one of their attention back to him with some sort of compel that is essentially just me. <laughs> and and it, again, it's instinctive. It's not functional to their goal. It is purely reactive. Um, so I don't know if I would uh, like just roll a general like compelled like like I don't know you tell me but it's just say like there's some sort of 
jealous surge, not even directed at Christina or at, at, at Muzi, just like it's someone to pull the attention to me. I'm totally uh, good with that. If you do the compel roll and it's good, Christina would probably, like, I won't roll to contest it. I was going to say, why don't you go ahead and give me a compel roll? It's not technically how the power works, but clearly yeah. I am very strict on rules Char- here. Charisma and dominate. Yeah, yeah. I will say that that as as Muzi's leaving, he's definitely using Daunt. Because he wants, he still has to put out that, that, that fear in people. So I, we can call it what we will, however you want to do this, but yeah, I'm definitely doing that as we if walk If you're away. using Daunt, I'm going to compete with your Daunt with my Daunt. Just... We will have the Daunt while we're at it. Just a second. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. No, we, 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 compared our, we compared our Compel dicks in episode two. We'll compare our Daunt dicks here. It's fine. Girls are all pretty. <laughs> How do we do, Ezra? That's a 10 with a double crit. Yeah, I can't compete with that. <laughs> like Christina, five Christina is looking at him. Just to verify, that's four ten. One, two, that's four ten. So eight. That's eight yeah. plus yep. two more. So ten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Ers. Yeah, Christine. Um, I'm not going to contest it. Christina is paying 100 percent attention to you now. I'm already next. Both- to them, so yeah. Yeah. Everyone else has kind of moved in, but uh, Christina and Muzi are now paying attention to you. Um, Muzi, you may even be paying more attention to this necklace he has visible rather mm-hmm. than the man himself. Did people make a roll on that, by the way? Oh, yeah, the two of them did, but I'm actually... I rolled a five. five. Or, um, to recognize your necklace, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yes, Muzi recognized, Muzi recognized it just, like, flat out. He didn't have to roll. He knew this. Mm. I got if a four on it. If it's still out, what is the roll? Uh, we went with uh, wits and occult, or okay. intel and occult. My bad. Okay. Yeah, I just got a three on it. Yeah, which is not high enough for those two to have recognized it, but Muzi did without uh, without roll. He knows this. Okay. Five. Uh, yeah. Dante, you upon seeing this, now that it's out and visible, you also recognize this as a relic from. Um, um, I, I know my NPCs. Siegfried. Siegfried from Siegfried's era, uh, yeah. who nobody really knew quite what happened to him. He was a prince of Vancouver who disappeared during the wars and was later replaced by Prince Bastion. Mm-hmm. So I just look at it, kind of like pick it up, lovely, and drop it back on his, ne- his chest. But that's pretty. Everyone's paying attention to you again, Ezra. Mike's paying attention to the pretty necklace because it's shiny. Close enough. <laughs> Christina is paying attention to uh, Ezra and is going to walk up to him, kind of fix his hair a little bit, uh, let one of the shadow tentacles help with it. Just be like, yes, you pitched a fit. What do you want? What? What do you fucking want? And I'm like glancing frantically, like just like high, like engaged, right? Like like on the edge, like like just resonating like energy, like like looking at you and back and Muzi, like like what do you, what do you want, honey? Oh, honey, first time's always the roughest, isn't it? What, what, what do you want? I want you to calm down and get your fucking head in the game. Can, can I make, you do that like, for me, sugar? Can I, storyteller, can I make some sort of, like, not just like a standard rouse check, but can I, can I make some, some sort of bigger rouse check? I don't know. You want to make like a like a frenzy check, kind of, to yeah, see if you lose your exactly. shit right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Going why so don't well. you? <laughs> um. Why don't you go ahead and roll me your current willpower to avoid the frenzy that is just currently trying to overtake you? Forgive a new vampire. So I'm like rolling my total willpower amount because it's a uh, lot. 
You'll be rolling your total willpower minus the anything you've spent so far. And sure, if, sure, 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 sure. And it was one today, and I don't think you've spent anything else to no. date. So no, it's so. your current willpower minus whatever. Um, if you would like to frenzy, you can just frenzy here. I will not stop you. I okay. So real talk, yes. <laughs> <laughs> then do it. Then do it. Fuck Absolutely. It. Fuck the roll. Like let that happen. So just ride the wave. You, so you are you are standing there, and Christina is talking to you like you are a fucking child. Like she does not realize who the fuck she is talking to. You are. Ezra fucking Cohen, you took out Siegfried in his heyday. And now they're gonna tell you that this Mosey guy is just gonna walk the fuck away? You know better than to let this happen, Ezra. And in, in that moment, like I reach up and I grab her by the throat and I slam her like back against his body and shove both of them back into a wall. And and I just say like Don't Push me. <laughs> Arms of Araman, all six around your throat. Standing right behind him. And this is going great. Pull, and she's going to pull you close, almost nose to nose, and go. Don't even fucking start with me. If you got the balls to slap the devil, I will fucking burn you. Do not think for one instant that my affection for you goes above my mission. Don't ever fucking try me again like that. And as <laughs> she's saying that, the, the, the shadow that's been just kind of like exuding from Ezra, like since the the Diablery previously, like almost like presses up, like like almost like a vignette, like pushing against like her vision, and I would almost say like pushes up against her and then and then shifts away and pulls back in. And I'll drop the arms from around his throat. And everyone kind of <sighs> takes their step back to have a moment of breathing room. Moosey. Uh, Moosey will just uh, look at at Ezra and say, I think the baby needs to be swaddled. And then Moosey just <gasps> jumps off the roof. Just, just soaring leaps just straight off the roof and grabs the bike and rolls out. Do you want me to bring him back to you? No. Ezra? <laughs> We're done I didn't it. ask you, Christina, no offense, but I didn't ask. I asked Ezra. You're being so. quite rude, right? Oh, I'm not being rude. You were because you assumed that I was talking to you. But I have something way more important that we need to know if you would allow me a moment to speak. Larkin fucked us. Who didn't see that coming? Anybody? We all saw it coming. I'm surprised it was so soon. Really? All I thought that he'd let us get through the majority of them at least before we had any kind of pushback. I mean, this is impressive. That's kind of stupid. We knew he was going to fuck us, and he has sicked the entire Anarchs on us. Which <laughs> means... And Anarchs are... <laughs> not known for their unity mm. which means stopping losing now doesn't do shit for us in 20 minutes when gangrel anarchs roll up on our ass so if everyone could fucking keep their shit together for 60 straight minutes that would be excellent because i just want to end this night at this point Look. And I want uh, no, 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 to take no, no, my tentacle no, 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 inside Larkin no, 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 and rip no, 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 him the fuck. Do not interrupt stop. me, Ezra. I will fucking interrupt you. Larkin, you're going <sighs> off about him? Boy, it, it, rude. Whatever. You think you know about Larkin? You think you know about the shit he's doing? Childer. 
That's who he is. You wanna fucking know who this guy is? The guy who brought us here? The fucking mind behind this whole fucking thing? Childer. The prince. The prince at the top of this list, and I pull the list out. This fucking guy. Using us to get to him. Yeah. That's who this fucking guy is. He's his kid. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Sure. Wait, 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 wait. The prince is fucking Larkin's baby kid can't handle or Larkin his first is bottle the prince's kid? Which one is it? Larkin is the prince's child. Haha. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up, Dante. I thought Thank you guys you. picked up on the heavy daddy issues coming off of him. Yeah, but I don't judge know whose daddy is who. You don't know who his daddy is. I mean, a lot of people have daddy issues. I got daddy issues. You got daddy issues, Christine. I mean, that's fucking obvious. Ezra got. I don't daddy have issues. daddy issues. Don't lie. I don't have daddy issues. We all know you do. It's fine. I had a great relationship with my father. You wear your surrogate father on your shoulder. Now that daddy, I do have issues with. Big daddy issues. Well, I mean. Exactly. I mean, one way or another, it's all daddy shut issue. The fuck up, Ezra. Did you just this tell me not, to no, no, shut no. the fuck up. The, I, Ezra? Seriously, rude. Don't care. We have this night, and I kind of point off like to just. I'm to gonna the, punch to him. The middle twilight. Right. We'll, in the we'll face. let him finish his thing, and then you can. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. This night does not have much left. We started on this path, but it was for a for a fucking fraud trying to pull us into another fucking camera reel, like fuck that what are we doing right now to address this fucking shit and I look at Dante and I'm like and for the first time because like I've been dismissive of, of Dante this whole time and I just like make direct eye contact which I also have not done up to this, until this moment because mm -hmm. he's fucking creepy <laughs> what do you think you know the shit what do you think we do next I'm so glad you asked. I think that we continue to destroy every single person on, on that list, not because of a payday, but for personal reasons now. And I also think that while you're standing on top of my haven, you should put your dick away before I melt your face off. No offense, but there's not a lot of room to hide this. Oh Splendid. My God. If we're going to continue to clear the field, we'll need to act a bit quicker. Do we want to uh, divvy up the list a bit? Yeah, I would love to get away from all of you right now. Wonderful. Considering I just put myself in the mouth of a wolf to save all of our asses, and you're all being cunts. So, tell you what. And I'm going to point out, pull out the list, Fuck. look at it, rip a line in between two of the names, and just toss one on the ground, shove the other in my pocket. I'm going to drop Stiggy and Shroud around myself, and particularly Ezra. I'm going to walk up to Ezra. Don't you ever treat me like that again or I will put you in so many pieces Dante will have a field day and she is going to kiss him and leave I think this is a good spot to end our episode tonight my goodness people uh, thank you everyone for coming to watch this and for coming and participating in this. Um, we usually did this off camera, but this has been a very aggressive episode. So let's just go ahead and get a vibe check from all of my players on screen. Everyone is I'm good. Wonderful. Everyone is happy. I, I love yes. having, I love having messy, aggressive moments with people. I trust. This is my favorite vampire. <laughs> <laughs> This is my safety group where I feel happy and joy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, then good. I'm glad everyone had a happy, joyous two hours with <laughs> me here. Some of the um, best aggressive moments come between friends that share mutual trust and understand each other's boundaries. So facts when, on you facts on facts. 
When you build a you good know, foundation, no. you can go hog wild on each other. You know, I take Absolutely. it back. I, I take it back. Christina called me a name, and I was I was not being. <laughs> I was telling I was telling Ezra to stop. <laughs> I, and I want to say just for the audience, since we're going to leave this in for them, we actually do like in the chat, send each other private consent messages about the things that we do. Um, we are constantly checking consent throughout the whole story. And shit posting. Some, and, and shit posting. And, and shit posting. Posting. And trying to break it me. <laughs> I think they're all specifically directing it at me to make me laugh while I'm as But most importantly, we're checking consent. Oh yeah, most importantly. <laughs> oh, and, and, and Andrew... Ezra's totally got it coming from right for that little. <laughs> oh, well, you you are owed a solid one in the smacker. We oh, are totally we are, getting it. <laughs> we are a ticking time bomb and have been the whole time. The fuse is just oh. now about an inch long. <laughs> all right. So with all of this said and done and punched and frenzied, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and do our round of outros for this evening. Starting as always with uh, Christina, and normally I say her name with much more gusto, but tonight she was very serious, so Christina. Christina, yeah, um, I am Ellie Collins. I've been your Christina. You can find me online at Ellie underscore A underscore Collins on Twitter, or uh, STing on ATL by night on Tuesdays. All right, and uh, Dante. Hi, I'm Zachary Vado. I think my Twitter handle is over here. You can find me there. I'm on ATL by night on Tuesdays playing with Elliot Storyteller. I'm also on Adjacent by night on Saturdays. Uh, I am in a variety of games in a variety of places. Follow me on Twitter. I am wherever tabletop games are played. And uh, Ezra, our, our, our drunk frat girl of the night. <laughs> Whoa what? now. <laughs> I am Ezra. Too far. AKA Andrew Strother. Uh, you can find me on the internet at Roll Persuasion. I am in games. And when I am very lucky, I am in games with these lovely people. <laughs> so please check out everything they do. I'm lucky to be here and blessed to be a part of their group. Watch everything they do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. And on to right who somehow might have been the sanest person tonight, you guys. How the hell did that happen? <gasps> hey guys, hi, uh, Smith McLarty. I was right, the sane Malkavian of the night. Cool, cool, I'll take it. Uh, I, I, at just S McLarty is my social handle. I'm sure there'll be one somewhere in the chat, maybe, or something like that, but yeah. Uh, I've got a link tree, which is link tree at just S. McLarty, and that's got everything on it as well. So just follow socials. I'm in a lot of games and stuff here, there, and everywhere, and if you want to know what they are, just that's the only way you're going to find out. I post about them. So, bad at outros, next. <laughs> and our... Not only our special guest for tonight, but our first surviving NPC so far, uh, Muzi. Hey everybody, I'm Prince, also known as Dimples and Dice around the internet. Uh, that's you can find me, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. I am a variety streamer slash TTRPG streamer. Uh, I am in a bunch of stuff and things, and by the time you see this, I might be in more stuff and things. So do make sure you're following me on uh, Twitter, at Dimples and Dice, uh, and watching my show, uh, Wayward Revelry, uh, every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It is a uh, D&D campaign uh, based in Wabi on the Witchlight, uh, and I'm on Vancouver by night. Delve into Darkness, 6 p.m. on Eastern Time on Saturdays. And I'm the storyteller for uh, Philly by night uh, on Saturdays over on my sister station, Rolling These 20s. Uh, again, I'm in a bunch of stuff. And you might see me on a Roll 20 commercial. Apparently, that's a thing that people keep talking about. Yes, that's me. Hell it's yeah. me that you see on the YouTube Roll 20 commercial. Yay! That's all. <laughs> all right. And um, I was your storyteller slash chaos wrangler this evening, Lex. Ringmaster. <laughs> I felt master of nothing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me in places. You can find me doing stuff. Those are my main things. 
You can always find me on social media as a redhead vixen on uh, Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans, all that good stuff. And as always, if you enjoyed our soundscape and our soundtrack, uh, check out Same Page Media on all of the socials. They do all of that phenomenal stuff for us. So with all of that said and done, we are going to head on out for this evening and we will see you next week for the continuation of a bit of ultraviolence. Thank you.